going so welcome back we're continuing uh, with our questions okay so we're going to uh, do this one it's a uh, substitution and also change of subject and then uh, if, we, if we have if we have time then we're also going to cover this one on trigonometry uh, trigonometry this one is going to be uh, really 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 um, cool and useful so we're going to cover this one as well and then we also are going to cover substitution okay for quadratic uh, formula um, for quadratic formula so this is uh, this is a really a uh, good part of uh, this paper so uh, let's let's just uh, you know get right to it so we were told uh, 8a given this um, equation here and we're told to find the value of a so this one it's a case of substitution okay so the way that I, I always teach my student is whenever you have substitution always substitute using brackets okay so that you don't uh, lose any of the any of the um, uh, signs okay so the way that you do it is to say a equal to then h h e a it's already uh, 0 0.8 so just just as a time saving um you just as a time saving uh, gimmick sort of i uh, don't don't write this to rewrite it you don't need to okay it's already given in your in your in your paper okay so we're going to create another bracket form for b so what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, large brackets like this okay so b not, notice that i actually didn't need to um i actually didn't need to put 1.5 n in uh, in brackets but i actually did just because it's 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 good okay so that you don't uh, mess up next time maybe there'll be a sign there and then you forget the sign and then you just uh, put it just like that and then you end up failing so it is better to be safe than to be sorry unless you're really sure then you can go ahead and uh, just do what you want okay so this is paper two you're allowed to use a calculator but i advise you to actually uh, get just uh, try to simplify a little bit before you you do that so for example 12 plus 1.5 it's uh, simply 13.5 this one you can know by heart okay so divided by two here if you want again you can uh, simplify further this becomes 0 0.0.4 multiply by 13.5 okay once you're here just punch in your calculator okay so it'd be then you get 5.4 okay so 5.4 here so here uh, when you're revising okay you already uh, have the, the value of of a year when you're revising just punch here uh, the whole thing in your calculator and then see uh, if you get uh, 5.4 okay so that's just about it and then just in passing also we got 0 0.4 from here we actually got uh, 0 0.4 from 2 into 2 1 and then into uh, 0 0.8 this one was 0 0.4 that's why we just punched this one like this okay so it was um, a bit easier this one now we have to do change of subject so it's a equal to change of subject to essentially we have to uh, reverse what's what's been done change of subject it's essentially a rescue operation we have to isolate for this case we have to isolate h okay so it means that we have to get rid of stuff packing them away one by one so the first thing that i would i would do myself is to is to get rid of if, if you want you can do this in one step but you can get rid of two first okay so you can get rid of two if you get rid of 2, you get uh, 2a here equal to h, then 12 plus plus b. Okay, so you can actually go ahead and divide now by 12 plus plus b divided by 12 plus plus b like this. So you'd actually get uh, h equal to then 2a divided by 12 plus plus b. Okay, like this. So that's what you would uh, what you'd uh, get normally but then there's a there's a way to combine these two steps especially if you're um, if you're on a time crunch this one is just two marks so if you're on a time crunch that means if you if you want to if you either you you are running out of time or you want to save time so that you can get some uh, you know a free time to revise what you do is you can actually do this in one step so instead of multiplying by two only you can actually multiply by 2 divided by 12 plus b like this so it be multiplied by 2 divided by 12 plus b like this we're doing it for the left hand side and also for the right hand side so we are not upsetting anything 
uh, our equations, our equation still stands okay. So here this one would cancel, this one would cancel, this one would cancel, this one would cancel. Okay, so you'd actually get um, h equal to, which is this one here, it's equal to 2a divided by 12 plus b. Okay, so this is still fine. So this is how you'd, uh, this is how I'll do it so that I can create uh, some time for myself uh, later. The trick with uh, Zimsi questions is, if you're really good, then you're allowed to take shortcuts as long as you get the answer. But then if you don't uh, get the answer now, you tend to lose marks. You won't get those step marks there. But then if you're really confident, you're really fast, I advise you to look for ways to, uh, you know, uh, do things easier and easier, you know, lead to effort. It's always good that way to help you uh, in your critical thinking as you go to uh, advanced level for, for mathematics or engineering or anything. Okay, so always look for those shortcuts and um, efficient ways to do things to help you out. So let's um, continue the next part. The next part says in the diagram we have this triangle here and uh, you're also given those dimensions. Those dimensions are also given here. Interestingly, and then you show, you're told to show that it reduces to this. Okay, so the way that I always teach my students is, my, my students is, um, I always say, uh, look for if uh, you have a, an angle and two sides sandwiching that angle. So if you have an angle here, 120, and you have two sides sandwiching that angle, 120. Almost always, you're supposed to apply cosine. If you have an angle and then you have an opposite side, an angle and uh, its side corresponding, then you have a case of, of um, uh, sine rule, okay? So now, now you actually have these two sides here, and then you have uh, an angle sandwi um, uh, sandwiched in between. So it's cosine rule, okay? So cosine rule, it says you have to write it in the notation that they want here because they, they actually label things for you. So you can actually say, for for example, the, the, way, the way that I would um, write it is um, let's say a c squared so a c squared is equal to so a c squared would be would be this part here it's equal to a b squared okay plus b c squared minus 2 a b multiply by b c multiply by cos a b c okay so here ac squared would be this one so it's 2x squared ab squared would be 4 squared then bc would be x squared okay minus 2 then ab it's 4 bc it's x cos 120 degrees okay so here 2x squared, you get 4x squared here. Is equal to 4 squared, you get 16 plus x squared minus 8x. Cos 120, you can actually punch in the calculator if you're not sure. But cos 120 is essentially uh, negative. It's uh, not essentially, it's negative 0 0.5, okay? So it's negative half. Uh, and it comes from this just in passing. Cos 180 minus theta you go to negative cos theta so for our case it's 120 our theta it means that our theta is what 60 so it's equal to negative cos 60 cos 60 already you know uh, cos 60 is half so that's why we get negative half here okay this is just in passing it's not very important we're going to try to do a video covering this exclusively but essentially, uh, usually they give you angles that are such that, especially when they give you this reducible uh, equation here, it uh, simply means that the angles that you're dealing with, they are exact, okay? So here it would be uh, half multiplied by h, it'd be, um, get four here. Okay, so you get four x. So you put everything to one side, then you get, if you want, you can even uh, show them since, uh, you know, minus 4x minus 16 we are transposing everything to go to the left hand side so you get 3x squared uh, minus uh, 4x here then minus 16 equal to 0 then as um, 
big as you can you can say shown <laughs> yeah you know this this is really satisfying when you get to this uh, to this part here so we're supposed to solve this equation here so this one was supposed to be negative okay so this one was supposed to be negative we're copying from some other paper but if you um, just see if you just go back 30 seconds earlier we derived this it was um, negative okay so this is what we are supposed to to use so uh, we're going to use the quadratic formula it says um, it says x equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac this one is supposed to commit to memory uh, they might give you in your in your data booklet it's still fine but it's it's always better to recall from memory so here you identify which one is your a the coefficient of x squared which one is your b the coefficient of x and which one is your c c is the the coefficient of, of x to the power zero or this one which is just standalone so you get negative 16 here so here negative and then this is uh if you still remember previously i was telling you when you substitute always um use brackets okay because it helps especially where you're dealing with uh, so many signs so here would be negative 4 squared minus 4 a which is 3 uh, c which is negative 16 here so this is good or divided by 2a so 2 or a is what it's 3 so here would be um 8 okay it's just 4 because negative and negative you get uh, you get 4 there um here would be 16 plus here would be 12 so i can actually write 12 by 16 here okay i combine this and then negative and negative give positive okay so all over uh this one would be six okay so here uh what what i can do is i can actually combine the, the last uh this this stuff here in uh, square roots so it'd be 16 plus 12 times 16 Oh, it's just 13 by 16 then it's uh 208 okay so you get 208 so what you have is 4 plus or minus square root of 208 divided by by 6 okay so we're going to continue from uh to here okay so we're going to continue from here and we say x equal to 4 plus square root of 208 over 6 or 4 minus square root of 2 0 8 over 6 like this so x is equal to so you get 3.07 okay so 3.07 or so or negative 1.74 like this okay so these are our two answers and here you're told to solve the equation so it doesn't have any relation with uh, what we're doing previously but then if they ask you to calculate the, the value of um, let's say x so the value of x would be would be uh, the positive value okay since you can't have uh, negative length values but then here it's just solve the equation so you solve the equation and you get both answers okay so this was productive um, thanks so much for watching we'll continue from uh, the next question